welcome 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 back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm mary and if you're a returning viewer thank you for coming back as you can tell with today's video we are going to do a reverse smoky eye what does that mean it means that we are going to start from the inside of the out and go out the first actual beauty youtuber that i saw do this was bell jordan and angela bright recently put up a video where she did this technique i think this is a technique that can definitely benefit certain eye shapes um last time i tried it i absolutely loved the way my eye looked so we are going to try this again and hopefully it comes out good today we are actually going to use the mini pro pigment palette volume 2. this was on sale at sephora so pretty the other two mini palettes are on sale as well. So if these colors do not appeal to you, you can go check out the other two color schemes they have and see if you like those instead. They're 50% off and I think that is a great deal and you should definitely go check them out at Sephora and take advantage. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so as you can see, I already have my base on and I already primed my eyes. For today, we're actually using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the original one. I love this. It doesn't have much color to it, so if you are trying to cover up like veiny eyelids, this is probably not a primer for you, but it works great. I've used it so many times and I think it works absolutely amazing. All right, so this little Norvina palette. I'm actually going to start with the darkest color that I'm going to use, and that's this one right here. That is, I'm guessing C1, I don't even know. That's the back of the palette. So I'm guessing, from what I can guess, that's C1. <laughs> But this is the color right here. First thing I wanna do is pack on the color. So actually, let me bring you in closer. I think that's good. Let me go down just a little bit. Okay, perfect. I want to pack this color on. So I want to make sure that I'm getting a pretty precise brush. For today, I'm going to use the JH40. That's what she looks like. And I'm going to start right in the corner. I did not set my primer. I never do. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm doing this nice and precise. Okay guys, this is what we have so far. I love that color. It's like a very dark like mauvey brown. It's very pretty. Now I'm going to dip into this super bright pink right here in the corner and I'm using a Morphe M330. I'm going to now blend this into the brown. Now these shadows are very dusty, but that is very normal for Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to dip back into the brown. Kind of felt like it disappeared just a tiny bit. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush. I'm going to use this one. It's an Ofra brush. That's what she looks like. There's no actual number to it. I'm going to go into the lightest shade that I'm going to use, and that's this pretty, it's like a peachy neon color, kind of, sort of. But I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of that pink color. And just kind of marry everything together. And I don't mind if I go all the way to my eyebrow. I actually prefer to go to my eyebrow. I think it complements my eye pretty well when I do that. And it's okay if that pink shade disappears just a tiny bit because we can always go back and freshen it up just a tiny bit we're just trying to blend all the colors together i 
this is kind of reminding me of a butterfly, isn't it guys? It's so pretty. I'm really loving the way this eyelid is coming out. All right guys, this is what we have. I did spend a couple of minutes off camera just kind of blending everything nice and seamlessly. Sometimes I wish that you guys can see how long it actually takes for the blending to be done, but the video would be so long. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is hop onto the lower lash line and I'm just going to use the same colors that I did. I start off with the brown, then I'll go into like that fuchsia pink purple, and then I'll go into like the salmon neon color. And I'm only going to go about halfway. It's going to match the top of my lip pretty much. But do you guys, it looks so pretty, right? It reminds me of a butterfly. What do you guys think? And I'm using the same brushes that I use for the top. This um, technique is not super technical. It's pretty much just blending colors together and trying out a new technique of putting your eyeshadow on and the placement as well. I really love this brown. It is so pretty. It's like a dark mauvey brown. I don't think I've ever used a brown like this. It's beautiful. So far, I am definitely enjoying this eyeshadow palette and even more since I got it for 50% off. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go into the pink. I'm going to try and see if I can use the same brush. Just kind of make sure I'm concentrating the color mostly on the tip of the brush, you know, and keeping it close to my lash line. I don't want to take it too far. Since it is a pink color, it can make me look like I have under eye bags. <laughs> Right now I'm going to use the fluffy brush that I used for that neon salmon color and the same thing, I'm concentrating the color mostly at the tip of the brush and I'm keeping it close. Focus. There we go. Okay. Don't worry, it's going to come together at the end. I know it kind of looks like I have a little bit of a black eye going on, but don't worry, don't you worry. We are going to make it come together. Trust me, guys. All right, guys, I am feeling a little adventurous. And I think I want to put this very bright green, it's like almost a neon green, little shimmer shade right in my inner corner. So I'm going to go in to my Morphe white concealer. That way I can make it stand out just a little bit more. I literally just whack it on on my hand. I am going to use this little pencil brush by LMR Cosmetics. does not have a number. It's part of their one of their trios that they have. So I am literally just tapping it in. So make sure it has some, but it's not super concentrated because I want to be very precise with this. You don't need much. Move on to the other side. <laughs> you can hear that. It's so much more real <laughs> Okay, once I lay it down, then I use my pinky finger and kind of just get it nice and blended. Okay, this is what we have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this off real quick and I'm going to use this for that green shade. And I'm just going to... I 
I definitely think if I wouldn't have put down the concealer, the color that was already on there, like part of the brown and that pink purple would have gotten in the way of actually making this nice and vibrant. I didn't think I was going to like this, but I think it's looking great. All right, guys, I'm going to put my brows and eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I did my brows, lashes, put on some blush. I used the Ardell Mega Volume. There it is. Now what we're going to do is add some eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Love Bug. It's like a very pretty plum purple. I figured it was appropriate for this look. I was going to do a black winged liner, but I forgot and I applied my eyelashes. So yeah. Have you guys tried putting eyeliner post lashes? It is not easy. So I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> Last but not least, we are going to put some highlighter on. This is the Glow Kit in Gleam. And I think I am going to go in with Starburst. I'm going to use a Morphe M501. This one has a little bit of a pinky tone to it, which I figured would be perfect for today's look. Do need to set my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Setting Brow Gel. It's clear. This is one of the only brow gels that can keep these bad boys in place. This is just a Morphe brush. That's what I use since it's so precise. This is why I like using this under my brow bone. I'm just going to go into Starburst, the highlighter and highlight my brow bone. And there it is, we are done. Okay, so this is your reverse smoky eye look. What do you think? Should I bring you in closer? Sure, why not? All right, here it is. Okay, so here is a reverse smoky eye look with the Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume Number no. 2. Such a beautiful palette. I ended up using one, two, three, four, four of the shades from this palette, and I think they all performed beautifully. Like I said, these little minis are on sale for 50% off at Sephora, so you need to go check them. If you don't like the color scheme of this one, then they have two other options that also look beautiful. But yeah, all right guys. Well, I hope you loved this video. I appreciate every single one of you. So I would love it if you guys gave this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So three times a week for you guys. I will see you on the next video. Bye.